Okay, this is the Crest Ultrasonic uh, Vapor Degreaser with uh, Ultrasonic. I have the covers off right now and I have it this way so that we can explain some of the uh, interior uh, equipment here. We have a, uh, this is called your boiling sump here, there's heaters located down here, protected by an overtent. And on your right side you have a ultrasonic uh, bath. The generators are here, there's two uh, 500 watt generators. It's a little hard to see, it's behind this cover here. Okay, what else? We also have a uh, two compressors and cooling system. One on the left, one on the right. The one on the left is used for the main cooling coil inside, and the one on the right is for the freeboard. That's explained in the manual. Quickly tell you, so here's your power on switch. With the lighting in here, you're not able to see the LCD monitor, but it's uh, when we put the covers back on and it heats up, uh, we'll get a better view of that. And we have our EMO here, emergency power up. Come here on, along the right side, we have our electronics cabinet. We have a PLC here to the left of the BC. We've got a temperature controller, and as you can see, they're all labeled, um, what they, each one does, and, and like I said, they're explained well in a manual. Now, we're running water here, so I have the temperature set a little bit differently. Uh, and what they do, do use is the alarm settings on, uh, for example, here's your primary uh, coil vapor over temp. You'll see alarm one and alarm two is set to different temperatures. And the same here with your ultrasonic sump. You got an alarm one and an alarm two set point. And then finally with your boil sump. Alarm one set to five and 105 on the uh, alarm two. And this is for your freeboard coil. And you can change that. I think I have it set for four now since we're using water inside instead of a solvent. If you look down in here into your, uh, your bass here, on the right hand side you have your, uh, that's where the ultrasonic takes place. Now this will cascade over into your boil sump. As you're boiling your solvent, there's a coil here. This is your main cooling coil. I see, I think it's below there, it's a little hard to see. And these coils above are your freeboard coil. So as it condenses on your cooling coil, it, it'll go through a uh, water separator and the solvent will return back to the, this side here, your right side, and then cascade over to your boil sump. Okay, here's one of your uh, water separators here on the left side, and you also have one here on the right. And you have the ability to drain the water off the solvent. So this will remove any water that's uh, collected in the solvent. Uh, down here we have a uh, a pump that's pulling out of the uh, ultrasonic tank. It'll go through a heat uh, transfer here, filter it, and it returns back. And then finally, we have our robotic arm assembly here. And the motion for this is left, right, up, and down. It's uh, piston driven in either direction. Right, I'm just going to demonstrate the arm moving left and right, up and down. Uh, when we come back later, I'll have the covers all on the system. We'll actually run a process. And we'll do short times on the uh, actual cleaning so that uh, we can show the operation of the system.
So I just want to show you where the adjustment is for the speed. You can adjust the speed of left, right, up, and down. And we use these needle valves here. These are the valves that are used to control, control the uh, robotic arm assembly, and this is the valves used to control the lid, open and close. Your lid adjustments are here, open and close, and you have your R goes for your right, L is left, U is up, and D is down. You can adjust the speeds accordingly. In the screen here, you see you got the ready light. You get the ready light when the primary coil alarm 2 is activated. We're in cleaning mode, which means we're heating up and cooling the uh, coils. You can hit start here. You can look at some of the, uh, you got cool down mode, maintenance, shutdown mode, timer 1. We'll look at, let's look at timer 1 real quick. It's explained in the manual exactly what these are used for. Go back here. We'll look at timer two. And this is the program I got in there. It's uh, we're going to change these to five seconds. And we'll quickly step through it. Again, by referring to the manual, it'll explain all these programmable uh, parameters. Mistake just hit clear. Again. Now we're going to return to the main screen. We're going to hit the home button. I want to make sure you're at home. Turn back to the home. 